Okay, now we need to make sure that if we are creating opportunities from a contact record, that the lead source and lead source original field make it to the opportunity. Uh, <clears throat> there's a little bit more work involved with setting this up. So on the contact record, we need to make sure that there's a button or an action up here that says new opportunity or create an opportunity. Uh, but basically the, the function is that it will create a new record from the contact record. Okay, so in order to do this, uh, let's walk it through. What will happen, actually before I do that, I'll just show you. What will happen is I can click that button, I can put in fields, and in the back end, it'll have predefined field values that will populate in the opportunity. All right, so let's set this up. I'm in object manager again uh, on the contact record, and we're going to start with buttons, links, and actions. There's a whole list here. You'll see that they kind of correlate to what you see here. I mean, they do correlate. That's what it is. You can see I already created this new opportunity one. We're going to just go ahead and do the whole process and I'll just create a duplicate. So I'm going to create a new action. The action type is I want to create a record and we're going to create an opportunity as the target object. The relationship field will stay as a contact. Um, I don't need to fill out this standard label type. Uh, that's something you can choose to do, but I just leave it as none. So we will go new opportunity number two. If you just click, this will auto populate for you. And uh, that's good enough. So I'm gonna hit save. All right, now what it automatically pops up next is the short little window that you saw when I clicked the button, right? So when I click new opportunity, this little window populates up here. That's what this is. So you can put in the fields that you want your sales reps to fill out when they create it. We don't need the sales reps to do that. So we don't need the lead source fields to show on this window. So I'm gonna go ahead and click out. Now, uh, this will not automatically, if I refresh this contact record, that new button won't automatically show up. We actually need to put it in the page layout. You'll see there's no new opportunity to. So I need to now go to page layouts and go to the layouts that I need it to show up for my sales reps. And there is this uh, quick actions link here. I'm going to find the new opportunity, number two, and I'll bring it down. Okay. Save. Then if I come back here and refresh the page, the button now shows up. Salesforce can be a little funky with the order, but there's the button and you'll see it has the pop-up like I said it would. All right, so we're almost there. It doesn't have predefined values yet though. So let's go back to the button. And here it is, predefined values. So I'm gonna go ahead and click new. The target object will be the opportunity. The field name will start with lead source. And we're back to the formula. So here though, since it's a pick list and on the opportunity should be going to a pick list, I shouldn't have to um, worry about it being a text. So let's find the lead source field. We'll insert, you can check the syntax just to make sure. Oh, I did. I did have, just kidding. Um, it does need to be in a text. Now, if I check the syntax, no errors. And we're set. Okay, so there's the lead source. I need the lead source original. So we'll go to lead source original. And we need to populate it with so we'll do the text formula again, insert the field. Where'd it go? Lead source original. This one is actually text, so it might not have needed the parameter, which is, I was right. <laughs> so if we come back here, since it's going from a text field to a text field, 
I don't need that text formula. Save. And we're set. So now, when I create an opportunity from a contact record, the lead source and lead source original field will populate on the opportunity.